Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and uh, today we have something different. I'm actually going to do kind of a jewelry or mystery container um, unboxing. I went to a thrift store, found this $5 glass container full of what I could tell were buttons. I could tell there were a couple um, earrings in there plus some crafting beads. And so I bought the whole thing. It was only $5. I thought, well, I put these into you know, individual packages and sell them for one to two dollars, depending upon how many are in the package. You know, like little three by three, six by nine uh, Ziploc baggies. So anyway, so I bought it thinking I could easily make some more money by breaking it up into different things. So today we're going to open it up and see what we found. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, here's the jar I got all taped up and you can see the price sticker. I paid five dollars for this jar of miscellaneous bits and bobs and uh, it looks like a lot of pieces of jewelry and buttons so let's just check it out and beads and stuff like that so um yeah you can see a lot of beads on top that's for sure whoa we got a lot of beads stuck to the tape part of the reason i did this is that i take these and i put them in the little three by three or three by six um, Ziploc baggies and I sell them down at the pink elephant and I sell a lot of them you know for one to two to three dollars depending upon what's in there and because uh, we have a lot of crafters that come in looking for this stuff so so I thought look at this whole jar full for five dollars I could definitely make a few dollars off of this and boy, there's some itty bitty seed beads in here, as well as larger beads. Oh my. Well, I'm going to leave those on there. But then I also noticed that there's like earrings. Look at that big. Oh, there's another earring stuck on that earring. So, well, that's a big old clip on. So, these are probably just single earrings that they didn't have matches for. So they threw them in this little lot. Oh, look at that earring. Wow. I'll lay them out down here. <clears throat> so you can see all the beads. Should probably get a... You know what? I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go get a container. So hold on a sec. Okay. Now I'm back. And uh, I got containers to put this stuff in. So the beads are going to go in one. And then I'll put the jewelry in another one. And these all look like beads in one shape, form, or another. So we'll put those in this one. Oh, here's a, look like a necklace. That was a seed bead necklace. So we'll put that in the beads. Whoa! It's going everywhere. Wow. What is this? Some sort of a clip. Not exactly sure how it works. That's kind of cool. Oh, here's a shell earring with gold painting over the edges. And that's another round bead. There's a big thick hoop earring. More beads. Another bead on a stick. Hmm. The ends have been crimped so the bead doesn't come off. There's half one. Oh, and there's, look at this. It's a seashell earring. That one's kind of cool. Look at all of that. It's got dangly bits and something else. Some black stuff in it. That's kind of cool. It's missing a few pieces, but that's kind of a cool little piece. Oh, here's another one of those. Put that in the beads. Um, and put that there. This is a necklace. It's broken. It's a chain. Made in Korea. Yep, it's the broken, broken chain here. So we'll untangle that. And this other piece that is all tangled up. Oh, there's another earring. More beads. 
another earring. Here's a big long gold pin. Put that in the miscellaneous. That will go in the beads, that will go in the jewelry. Beads, beads, garbage. Ah, this is fun, isn't it? Nope, there's some more large beads. The moment I take them out, they roll all over. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's got, oh, wow. They have some really unusual pieces in here. So there's that one, which is really kind of cool. And there's that one. And you know what I forgot to do? Sorry, guys. Got to turn on the light. Now you can probably see things a little better. I was like, why is it so dark in here? Oh, that's just a pin. District 7. That goes in the miscellaneous. That's a dangly earring. Look at that. That's really cool. Kind of like that one. This is a pendant. Hmm. This one somebody was making into a pendant or something. I'm going to beads along with those and those. And then look at this earring. Isn't that wild? Oh, this one's got a name on the back. Ray. Oh. I don't know what it means. Maybe you guys can see that. Hmm. It's hard to read. Especially for my aging eyeballs. Alright, we'll just take some more out. Sort it through. Oops, there's a necklace. I wasn't expecting that. I got a bead running away. Alright, more beads. Oh, here's a little moon charm. That's cute. Another one of those triangular beads. Another bead on a stick. Looks like a nice glass bead. And a seashell pendant. That's kind of cool. I like that one. Uh, there's another earring with a dangle on it. More beads. More beads on a stick. Another earring. That's pretty. Filigree style. And a little charm. What's this one? Italy. Made in Italy. Okay. Mary. Mary Charm. Uh, pull chain. Because I'm miscellaneous. Oh, here's a charm bracelet with turtles. Oh, be right there. This alone is worth the $5 I paid for the whole, whole thing. I could sell this down with the pink elephant really easily. Everybody loves turtles. That one I think I'll leave out because it's a nice one. This is a nice little Necklace. Looks. Oh. Huh. Looks like it's silver plate. I have to check. I didn't bring my magnet. Um, I'll set him aside too, because that's a complete one. This looks like a little bracelet that's broken or missing the clasp. That's pretty. There's an angel charm. There's another earring. I'm sure this is a brass earring. Yep. Brass looking earring. Little charm. Angel. It's just an angel. It's not even a charm. Must have fell off something. All right. Here we come some more. Some more beads. Um, part of a necklace, it looks like. Another triangular bead. 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 Here's more of those District 7 pins. Oh, that's cool. That's an earring. That's kind of a cool pattern. Hmm. sports rama YMCA Championships, Northern California. Second in basketball, 1957. And as some of you guys, if you watch my videos, know I give out second place trophies to people, always saying that you're second to um, Jesus friends of mine at church, and I was looking for a, a basketball one for another friend of mine, and guess what I just found? Second place basketball from 1957. This is awesome. That is worth it also. Worth the $5 I paid for the bin. I am so excited about that. Um, that's an 
earring with plastic beads. More little beady charms. Oh, there's something new in the package. The bead monkey, oh, six dollars for a whole bunch of little angel charms. So, all right, that'll go in the miscellaneous bin. Oh, wow, this thing is full of stuff. I was not expecting it to be this full. Obviously, lots and lots and lots of beads. Ah, cactus necklace. Look at that. That's awesome. Sequoia cactus. There's another little charm. Oh, it's a little tiki. Tiki charm. I should have got my little loop. It's marked on the back, but I can't tell what it is. There's a little pen. It probably had danglies hanging on it. Now it's just pieces. Another pendant or charm. Here's oh, see, here's one. It has nothing. So th this was probably somebody's jewelry craft lot. That's all tangled up in the middle. There we go. So there were two of these. One got taken apart and one didn't. Those are pretty cool. Here's a. Yeah, I believe this is, and yeah, these are little stones, stone necklace. That's actually a pretty, oh, got an earring stuck on there too. So far, most of these are single earrings. That's a very colorful necklace. Oh, let's see. There's another little charm, heart charm. That's pretty. Doesn't look like it's marked. Uh, this is a Egyptian. Oh, now that's cool. If I can get this earring mixed out and taken out of the mix. It's a uh, Egyptian earring. Look at that. It's a mummy or a sarcophagus. Oh, and it's marked on the back. Can't really see what it, what the mark is. I'll set that aside. That that would be awesome to find the other one of this. That's pretty cool. And there's this little necklace charm. Little roses. And that can go in there. The beads go in there. That's a necklace part. There's a key, a charm. It's marked. Morph morphosis. Metal morphosis. Success. Hmm, that might be worth looking up. There's a little pendant, pyramid pendant. That's cool. Look at that little leaf. That's cool. More beads. Oh, look what I just found. There's the other sarcophagus. I yeah, can't read that one either, but... Um, so yeah, that'll be my little investigate pile. There's a cute little charm. That's another earring. Interesting. Yep. All right. Oh, look at the little teddy bear. Little fuzzy teddy bear. He can watch what we're doing. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. Don't you enjoy my reaction every time I dump this thing out? All right, so here we're hitting a lot of the buttons now. Here's some of the charms. Oh, that's an earring. There's another. That's a little tiny heart pendant. This is a earring. Button. Oh, that's an earring with the most unique clasp. This actually looks like sterling. It's very light. That's a, I'll test that to see if that might be sterling. Um, let's see, that's a bead, that's a bead, bead. That's an unusual one. That's actually a stone, carved. Hmm, it's unique. All right, these are all buttons. Oh, there's a little flower, craft flower. I should need another bowl. Um, I'll put these in the... 
Miscellaneous bowl. There's my beads. And the buttons go on the miscellaneous. All right. There's a watch. Look at that. And it is an eternity watch. With which is a Japanese movement on this. Look at that. And that band is different. I don't know what all these strings are about. Looks like somebody it lost the other end. So hmm. that's fun. Alright, there's a lot more beads running around. Whoa! Just lost that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Button. Bead, button, bead. Charm. It's a little circle charm. There's a dangly earring. Oh, here's another watch. A Geneva watch. Japanese movement. With something goofy attached to it. Um, bead, bead. Bead, bead, bead. Another leaf. So another charm. This one says Tiffany & Co. Do you think that's really a Tiffany piece? Mm, more than likely not. But you know what? We're going to test it. See if it's sterling. Because you never know. Oh, there's a theater mask. That's kind of cool. Oops. I missed the bowl. Here's a copper cross. Here's a necklace with some different Christian symbols. And then other things on it. And that can go in there. That's here's a um, one of these woven bracelets. I forget what they're called. I'm not a jewelry expert with names and all that, but but yeah. So this is amazing what we're finding here. In my opinion, I was not expecting all of this in a five dollar bin. Ah, uh, there's one of those light bulb charms. Oh, there's another one in green. There's the matching earring. Hey, there is one matching earring. Here's a pen of an eagle with a button, a button. This looks like a bracelet. That's, that's kind of a cool. I like the design on that. It's pretty. Um, yep, one of those. There's pieces. There's a little fairy. There's a little heart earring. There's a turtle charm. That's cool. It's a little glass turtle. Uh, bees going there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm all froggy today. All right. More glass beads. Oh, this is a pendant. It's just a cheap plastic one, inexpensive. Button. Here's another earring. A little corroded on the back. Oh, there's a little starfish charm. Star, charm, bead. Oh, there's a little fish. Uh, here's a pin with the letter F. And um, charms. Here's an earring. That's kind of a cool design with a little dangle. Another little heart charm. Oh, here's, this says Made in Hong Kong sticker. I don't know if that's supposed to be on that charm. I doubt it. But mm, it's stuck to it now. Oh, here's a little, one of those candy peppermint charms. And then here's these little leaf thingies. There's a feather, probably a bracelet that lost its little clasp on the end. Oh, here's a... This is probably a purse chain for a purse that lost its um, clasp on the end. Here's another black earring. I think I recognized that one from before. Ooh, that's kind of a cool earring. It's got some beautiful. This looks like it's handmade. I'm going to test that one too. Got my little pile of test stuff. Trying to see how long we are. I don't want it to go too long. Oh, here's the, another part of that chain. 
the button. A hair. Oops. Hair that's all tangled up on this earring. And this was, there's that other earring is in there too. So that's a match. Another hair. Hair clip. Maybe that's where the hair came from. Oh, look at it. It's a little elephant. And it's an elephant bead. It's got the hole in the top and the bottom. That's cool. That's a fun find. Oh. There's a couple of cool charms. Or, you know, for a bracelet to be beaded. And that's and found the other one of those earrings in there, too. Oh, that's a cool glass blown, hand blown bead. That's cool. And let's see. Oh, there's a little charm. That's pretty. Lots of fun stuff. There's a little pearl bracelet. All right. Some glass beads, some big ones, buttons. Back here, bead. They run away when I when they're round. <laughs> What's up with that? There's a couple more charm type thing. Oops. Oh, that's the cameo. I saw that. This is just a plastic cameo. But it's still good for crafting. Oh, this is a Monet earring. Starfish earring. That's kind of cool. It's a button. This is a tiny little earring. Oh, and this is sterling. 925. So that's a sterling. I'll have to Check that little pearl too, so we'll set that to the side. This little jar is awesome. Oh, there's another ch stone chip necklace, nice and cold. And let's see, a button, button, button. Now we're getting down more into the buttons. What's this? Oh, it's a Buddha pendant. On the side, he might be worth something. All right, let's see. There's an earring with a simple clasp for the back. It's kind of cool. It looks like a stone. Oh, here's the matching one to this one. Again, it looks handmade, so I'm going to check and see if those are sterling. And there's a couple more. Little guys, there's another little charm. Buttons. But this video doesn't go too long. If it does, I'm going to split it in half. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in this little jar. Lots of these buttons. So far, all of the buttons are just inexpensive plastic buttons. Um, that, look at that. That's a cool clay bead. It is chipped on the one end. On both ends. But it's pretty cool. I like that. Another one of those. There's another one of those. Stone ones. Hand carved stone. More of those. Buttons. Oh, Teddy fell down. Alright, there's some more of those guys. Few more buttons. Do you like like watching me sort this stuff? <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, we're getting down to the bottom. Let me just if I can pour the rest out without losing it all. Look at all those little tiny seed beads. We will dump those. Let's see if we can't get a few more here. Sweep those off into there. All right, let's see. Oh, what's this? Look for something different. Republic of Cuba, a peso. Hmm. Republica de Cuba, tres pesos. Hmm. I think that's just a fake, fake little guy. Looks like. Buttons. 
So this will be fun. This will be a fun little activity. I like doing when I'm sitting watching TV. I'll package these things, you know, all these little pieces into the little bags, put them in the little bags, and go from there. So I'll sort all this out and do that. There's another pretty glass bead with a hand blown or hand made design on the outside. And let's see. Yep, it doesn't look like too many other surprises at the bottom. Disappointed I didn't find that other, um, the matching one to this one that's marked 925. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's our uh, little mystery mystery jar for the day. Yeah, that was really fun. So now I'll put all these uh, away and mark them up and make some money. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.